Two bottles of vodka. Is this gonna be the weekend we finally meet Six Drink Amy? Six Drink Amy? What does that mean? It's the pinnacle of the Santiago drunkenness scale. One drink, Amy's a little <laughs> spacey. Wait, what? Two drinks, loud Amy. You wanna get a cab? Three drinks, Amy dance pants. Four drink Amy is a bit of a pervert. Hey, check it out. And five drink Amy is weirdly confident. Let's do this, little man. But I've never seen six drink Amy. Maybe she's the one I could actually be friends with, AKA my Sasquatch. So cold, even my fiery dance moves aren't keeping me warm. The trick is, you gotta be prepared. Mini cognac lady. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, warm me up, you little bastard. Mm. More drinks. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Terry's Fanny. And thank you, Poseidon. Boyle, Rosa, and Amy, you're up. Come on, get on it. And under it. Bangarang. Name, same names. Mm? You don't want to be around Holt in your current state. Mm. Say hello to the most confident woman alive. Gah! Drink number five. You are a true friend and a hot little piece. Goodbye, four drink, Amy. Sloppy sicko. Six drink, Amy. So alone. Oh, no. Six drink, Amy isn't fun. She's just sad. Damn it. Ames. Gina, you got to see the Sasquatch. Was it everything you drummed? It was the stuff drums are made of. Can you hold my eyes still till things stop spinning? Okay, let's sit you up. There, easy does it. There, oh, there you go. Now drink this entire glass of water. You're taking care of me. Just because I know you won't remember it. Mm -mm. Nope. You like me. Six drink Amy is your friend. And, and she's gonna be very sick right now. Okay. I guess it would have to be Channing Tatum's body, Ryan Gosling's face, and Michael Fassbender's sense of humor. What about you? Build your perfect guy. Um, Yao Ming's torso, Napoleon's brain, and the hunchback of Notre Dame's hunchback. Do you like my nails? Even though she hides it underneath layers of sarcasm, resentment, and grumpiness, I know deep down somewhere, April likes me. I'm kind of just fracking for friendship. Are you ready for you to tell me what's going on with Chris? Yes. No, to sing. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time, go. No, tell me about Chris. If you fall, I will catch you, I'll be waiting. Tell me about Chris or I'm leaving and I don't care about the letter. I want to have a baby, and I asked Chris to donate his sperm, and he's taking a really long time to make up his mind, and it's really freaking me out. And I can't stop thinking about it, and I'm obsessing about it, and I want to think about anything else but that, but it's making me crazy. Secrets stolen from deep inside. You know the song already? Of course I do. Everyone knows the song. It's amazing. The drum beats out of time. If, if you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting. Time after time. Time after time. Time after time. It's never happened. I'm on my phone and Rose is just sitting there silently, the usual. Well, I was thinking we could have a ladies lunch today. Amy, I wish I could do lunch today, but I'm currently out of town. Oh, come on. I want to hang out one last time before you, before you leave us. You're really special, Gina. And even though, I'm sorry, I just get so emotional about these things, you know? I wish I could be more like Rosa. Huh? I got bored. What's going on? See? She doesn't even give a damn. I wish I could do that. And I would cry less at the bank. It's just there's this one poster of this older Asian man opening a savings account for his grandson. OK. I All right. Here's what's going to happen. Amy Santiago as my parting gift to you before I leave your life forever. We'll still see each other outside of work. Before I leave your life forever, I'm going to fix you. I'm going to teach you how to be more cool and detached like me and Rosa. What's going on? But we could still go to lunch, right? I mean, or not. 
Whatevs. Decent start. Yeah, sure. I mean, we'll go to lunch with you. Why not? Okay, okay, cool. Just before we go, I'm gonna go to the bathroom for a bit. Not to cry about you leaving, but just to take a huge dump. So, if you hear any crying from the bathroom, <laughs> not about you. It's the dump, okay? Yippee! Road trip. Who's excited to go to Bloomington? Is that where you're gonna sit? I'm driving. Where else would I sit? Trunk. I helped April get into vet school in Bloomington, and today's her orientation, so we're taking a little road trip. While I'm there, I'm also gonna pick up an organic baby blanket. I would get one in Pawnee, but fun fact, our only baby store is attached to a chemical refinery. I made a special road trip mix CD for us. I hope you like Tori Amos. Oh, cool. All right, so you have everything you need for orientation? Yeah, an empty Sprite can, an old man's fingernail in my pocket, and a picture of Patrick Ewing on a roller coaster. I'm all set. Great. Hi, you're back. Hello again. As you remember, I'm April, and this is Anne, my 65-year-old grandmother. Yes, that's who I am. Anyway, we'd love to hear about Bloomington. It seems like a real hip kind of college town. Me, Ma? God, no one uses the word hip anymore. Sometimes I wish you went down on the Titanic with all your sorority sisters. I'm not going to school here. April, don't flake out on this. You're going to love it here. Bloomington is great. It's got culture and music and tons of youngsters. Youngsters? Am I 65 years old? Yeah, I'm not going here. I don't want to. Let's leave. Can we please talk about what happened back there? What, Anne? I just stole your phone and texted every guy in it that the baby was theirs. It's not that big of a deal. Listen, I know you don't believe this, but I care about your future. And I'm just a little disappointed that you're just not following through with this. Yeah, it's not about following through, okay? I was on the fence about whether I wanted to do it, and as soon as I got there, I just had a gut feeling that it wasn't right for me, that's all. So just like that, boom, huge life decision made? That's how I make all my life decisions. My gut is always right, okay? It was right about marrying Andy, and it was right when it told me that you would be the worst person I would ever meet in my life. And I've met Guy Fieri, Anne. <laughs> so gross. How do you get your gut to talk to you? You don't get your gut to talk to you, you just listen when it says something. Well. Right now, my gut is saying that we are going to listen to Mariah Carey the whole way home. Good. Woo. Gina, since you're leaving, I'd like to make a toast. <sighs> Bye. Oh my god, that was perfect. Mm. So nice. Gina, I got a little going away present for you. Don't worry, it's nothing big. <laughs> Oh my goodness, wow. You once said if you ever die, you wanted someone to turn your tweets into a book, so that's what I did. Oh my god, I said so many witty things so fast. Yeah. Amy, I don't know what to say. This is horrifying. What? This is way worse than crying. I mean, you put so much work into this. I'm completely uncomfortable. It makes me... kind of makes me sick. Amy, there's something I want you to do right now. Burn the book I made you? Yes, it's the only way to cleanse your childish sentimentality and become the true you, the one that's really Rosa. Okay, sure. I mean, it does include a very personal forward I wrote and $75 of my best archival glue, but yeah, this feels good. Hey, never seen you burning stuff with a bum barrel before. Right on. What was in there, Hitchcock? Eh, eh, eh. First rule of the bum barrel? Never ask somebody what they're burning. Well, okay then. All right, Amy, it's time. Put the book in the barrel. Let's go. No, I can't do it. What? I thought you wanted us to change you. I thought I did too, but I don't. I like having emotions, okay? This is who I am. You're leaving, and that's a really big change, and I'm going to cry about it a lot, okay? And there it is. Another flawless Gina moment. What? What's going on? Amy, the lesson I wanted to leave you with is to just be yourself. If you want to cry like an idiot for hours on end, just do it. You want to make a big old ugly book full of all my brilliant thoughts? Do it. Do you. It's Gina. Oh, wow. That was really, really sweet. Oh, dip. I got Rosa to feel her feelings, too. Inadvertent Gina moment. Two for one. <gasps> Come in, my babies. Come in. Sorry to interrupt, ladies, but you might want to take a couple of steps back. This is not going to smell good. Unhug! Oh. My going away present to you will be that I do not make you audibly say that you love me. Thank you.
Uh, okay, Leslie's coming back. Get off me, wench. Did I miss a nice moment? No. Yes, you did. Oh, good. <laughs>